This Map Business Online video is going to show how to import some USA, uh, USDA, um, Department of Agriculture data uh, that's downloaded uh, from the Department of Agriculture and show some agriculture information. This is corn by acreage on the map. And I've already done this, but I'm going to show you on the map what you would go through. So we would plot the data on the map. We would navigate out to where our data is located. Uh, and there's my corn map data right there. That's what it looks like. Get a little preview of it. So you can see I've got commodity, value, state, county. And there's some extra county information in there. And we're just going to select that data by opening that file, click next, and then we walk through that process of plotting data on the map with Map Business Online. Uh, we only need county and state. Those are the columns that we need. It pulled state here. Let's just check on county. There it is. And it pulled the county label right there. So you can see that. And then we're going to click next. And we're just going to stick with the name as commodity because that's not really important in this particular uh, process and then we're going to go with value as the call out number one but even that's not important because i'm not going to use that call out on my map and then i'm just going to plot that data so i click plot and i've already got that data on the map and so that data comes up and it looks like that on the map it's all these dots guess what we don't need it so over here we're going to uncheck it we don't want dots we want to color code the county layer so I turn that county layer on. I go up to my three-piece puzzle icon called Color Code Map. I select the county layer. And then I choose my data that I imported, my corn map data. You'll see that's the same data layer name as right there. That was the spreadsheet that we saw. And then down below, you have to pick which column in that data you want to be the writing, the color coding column. What's the What's the color code going to use for its arrangement? And in this case, it was the total value. There's an average there too. Map Business Online gives you a choice. You want average, you want total. I typically go with total. You may find some uh, reasons to use average. And then down below, I could have up to 100 ranges if I wanted to. Anybody who does 100 ranges, they're crazy. All you need is four or five or your map gets too busy. That's one man's opinion. Sometimes people want to use 100 ranges. And I set up my range sort of area. So if I wanted to start with 250 acres, I'm going to start with 500 acres. You could make it whatever you want, but you can see all the way up to the top, Map Business Online will put in that top number, 473,000 acres was the highest number. So you know your range is going to be somewhere in between that. I chose five. I set my ranges like this. I chose my color scheme down below because a graduated color scheme was the way to go and green seemed good for agriculture. That was my thought process. And in the background, just to make it pop a little bit better, I chose my non-filled counties to be purple, light purple, nice pastel color. Then I click done. And that's the map I get. So now I've got a color coded map of all the acreage that's got more than 100 acres of corn, I think that's what this base data is all about, but I'm not an expert at that. We're doing this for somebody else. And I edited my legend so that it says corn map by acre, and I'm gonna change that and say corn map acres by county. And you'll see I edit that right here, and that's gonna pop up in my legend as soon as I say update legend. You can edit the range is here, separate from the color coding function. You could make it say banana here, and it would say banana in my legend up here. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to have to go back and undo banana. And you can go back and have, you know, cut out different layers if you've got states turned on, uh, which at this point I do not, but I'm going to turn them on. So let's, let's update the map legend, close the legend. Let's turn the state layer on just for added um, orientation and you know what let's um let's turn those labels right off you can change the way they look that's the auto label for the state layer but most people who've gone through grade school know what state is what right people we should all know what state by the shape of it on a map I know I have since I was in kindergarten so 
go to mapbusinessonline.com, take our free trial. And one more, one more note on the map itself. You don't necessarily need a background layer. You could turn that background layer off, and that might be a nicer map in terms of its just look and feel. But there are other options as well. Uh, there's a National Geographic option, um, which I think also might have a nice look and feel for this particular map application. But it's all dependent upon your perspective and your particular opinion. Go to mapbusinessonline.com and take our free trial. Thank you.